dear friends i am happy to meet you all of you again through this video lecture in this video lectures we are going to discuss on uh, uh, something related to the inventory management i think you know that uh, how the inventory is important to the business concern what are all the various uh, steps uh, taken by the business firms uh, to manage the inventory actually the inventory management is a very important uh, uh, concepts and the techniques in the business because uh, uh, more than uh, 70 to uh, 90% of the cost are associated with the inventory whatever may be the business or uh, whatever may be the products are related to that business definitely it should concentrate more on the inventory management that is why i choose this title okay uh, come to the uh, subject what is inventory inventory is accounting term okay uh, uh, it is related to uh, the any type of the goods okay are used in the business firms uh, in the nature of uh, ready to sale uh, it may be in material or that is a raw material or uh, work in progress that is intermediate products or in a finished uh, goods uh, in merchandising business tra trading businesses uh, there are uh, not a such uh, classifications of materials there are only one material that is uh, only one goods that is purchased from the supplier and the same thing uh, uh, will be sold to the consumer or the customers with some profit in uh, manufacturing businesses uh, that is uh, uh, the business firms they purchase the material from the supplier and making the process on that material and converted uh, the same thing as uh, finished goods and sold uh, to the consumer or the customers therefore uh, the manufacturing businesses they have the three types of material one is a raw material that is purchased from the suppliers and the finished goods that is uh, produced uh, by the firm uh, from their factory and uh, uh, next one is uh, in the intermediate products this is uh, uh, neither uh, material nor the finished goods okay the inventory whatever may be in the form or the type all are collectively called as the inventory the inventory is uh, the largest uh, current assets of uh, the business firms the majority of the, the investments uh, that is uh, the working capital uh, majority of the uh, investments in working capital should be invested in the inventory why the business form needs uh, that is a inventory there are the three motives uh, generally the business form have uh, inventory the first motive is a uh, transaction motives this is nothing but uh, uh, for making a transactions in the business it needs a material whether it is a trading or a manufacturing both the type of business forms they need some material okay to produce or sell the goods to the consumers and second one is the precautionary motive Uh, to avoid uh, uh, interruptions in the business transactions it keeps the material uh, as a stock uh, in their go down okay whether uh, it is a merchandising or uh, manufacturing <coughs> they should keep some amount of material as a stock uh, to supply an interrupted manner for the productions or uh, to make a sale to the consumers and sometimes uh, the business firms keep the material as a stock uh, to take the price advantages okay uh, that is uh, the agriculture related uh, uh, industries uh, they use the agricultural products as a uh, inputs for their uh, manufacturing processes uh, such type of uh, business firms they purchase the materials uh, on seasonal basis whenever uh, 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 that materials are available in the market and that time the business firms purchase that material in bulk manner and keep as a stock in their go down okay and some business firms they take a price advantages of the prices of the material 
they purchase that material whenever that materials are in cheap in the market okay and keep the same thing as a stock in the ground and inventory management okay it is a process it is a continuous process whatever the business forms uh, uh, they hold the materials they should have managed that material in an efficient way okay without managing the material we can't uh, success uh, uh, in our business forms because uh, majority of our working capital is invested in the inventory therefore uh, we should uh, uh, have a such a system to manage the material in an efficient way the material management is uh, includes uh, the, ma the management of the various components that is raw materials the finished products and also includes the warehousing and the processing of the material also and movement of the goods uh, for planning the better management of the inventory here uh, we should know the movement of the goods okay generally we purchase the material from the outsiders uh, they are called as the suppliers okay if you make an order to the suppliers after some time the suppliers send the goods to you okay and the goods reaches your uh, premises okay and uh, after reaching or receiving your goods first of all you have to check the quality of uh, the material received by you from the supplier if you satisfied the quality of the material then you can store the same thing in your uh, godown that is a warehouse and uh, you uh, transfers that material from your uh, warehouse to your uh, factory whenever uh, uh, you start your uh, production and uh, in the factory itself the materials are converted into Uh, finished goods okay after all the processing are uh, over then uh, the finished goods are uh, sent for quality checking and after making a quality checking it is again transferred to the warehouse and from the warehouse it is uh, uh, it is uh, it is uh, transferred to the distribution to the consumers okay this, this is what uh, that is uh, the movement of goods in the business forms Uh, if your business is relating to the trading okay there is no manufacturing then you can uh, directly send uh, the material received from the supplier okay from the warehouse to the destination of your consumers then why we should have the inventory managements there are the various objectives okay here uh, i list down uh, so many objectives okay continuous supply of materials okay to provide the materials continuously to the production centers okay, we should have inventory management avoid both over and under stocking that's over stocking leads to consumption of our money okay under stocking leads to interruptions of productions And then quality okay this is also very important one to ensure the quality we need better inventory management minimum working capital to reduce our working capital we should manage the material efficiently is very important optimize various cost Con ca cost control and reduction eliminate the duplications avoid deteriorations filferage wastage and damages then everlasting inventory control furnishing of data for future planning supply materials continuously then systematic record of inventory and stability in price okay to provide all these things to our business forms we should have on the inventory management then benefits of the inventory management if you have a better uh, inventory management system definitely you will uh, receive uh, the benefits like this the competitive ability you can win over your uh, competitors easily 
service levels you can improve your service level by providing better uh, quality materials to your productions planning and management of the inventory reduces the storage cost high inventory turnover brings revenues utilize warehouse space better makes cost accounting activities easier consistent with the safety and economic advantages regular supply at reasonable prices build customers confidence effective utilization of human and equipments enhance market share improves product quality brings the potential savings avoid costly interruptions in productions facilitates purchase economics thanks for your patient listening i hope this video is very useful to you okay bye if you have any questions you can find me at uh, my email id that is rosasilokumar@gmail.com thank you